Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Saturday, November 18th, 2023. I've been away a couple weeks. I took some time off, traveled to the West African nation of Ghana and had a wonderful time there. But today I'm talking about HV.1. Why? Because it's the dominant COVID-19 variant in the United States. The CDC says currently it's responsible for one third of COVID cases nationwide. Now recall HV.1 is a sublineage of Omicron XBB 1.9.2 and a direct descendant of EG.5, which was the most recent dominant variant. Now experts predict that COVID infections are going to be on the rise again this winter like they've been for the last three winter seasons. So here's what they know about HV.1 so far. It's highly transmissible, meaning it spreads easily from person to person. It's thought to be better at escaping prior immunity to COVID-19, meaning you can get it again and again. Although it's more transmissible, it hasn't yet uh, been associated with more severe disease or led to more hospitalizations. Now, health officials are monitoring HV.1 closely. What are the symptoms? Well, according to one infectious disease expert, the most common symptoms are congestion, sore throat, and dry cough. The other symptoms are similar to other COVID variants, uh, which includes, um, in addition to cough, congestion, and sore throat, muscle aches, fevers, or chills, fatigue, uh, headache, and uh, those seem to be the pr primary symptoms. Now, the rapid antigen tests do detect HV.1, COVID-19. And remember that the symptoms can look very similar to the flu or RSV, uh, which usually causes the common cold. The only way you know what you've got is to have testing done and uh, again, um, the rapid home tests are accurate. Now, why should you care? Because there are antivirals that are available for both flu and COVID-19. Now, remember also that the updated booster works against HV.1 because it was targeting the EBB uh, subvariant. So uh, as winter and the holiday season fast approach, you want to try to use multi uh, layers of prevention, staying up to date with your COVID-19 vaccines, getting tested if you have symptoms, isolating if you're testing positive, avoid contact with sick people, avoid, uh, uh, you want to uh, improve your ventilation, if you're having uh, holiday gatherings, you know, crack open a window, open up those doors and let that fresh air in. Keep uh, washing your hands with soap and water, use hand sanitizer and wear a mask in crowded indoor spaces. That is my message today. I hope you'll have a wonderful uh, upcoming holiday week. Take care, folks.